Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is the Polity, a program that takes a deep dive into the unfolding political events within Nigeria and many parts of the world. My name has not changed. It is still Macaulay Hunahashi. And joining me in the studio uh, of Kaftan Television Studios in Abuja live from a far right is Habib uh, Gajo. Habib Gajo is a, many, is a man of many parts, a public affairs analyst and our Prominent uh, in-house resource person at Kaftan Studio, Habib Gajo. You are welcome to the Polity. Thanks for having me. And beside me is, is another prolific and eloquent uh, young Nigerian, uh, who is also a regular face at, at Kaftan TV Studios. He is Duke Alamboye. Duke Alamboye is the national president, Nigerian Youth Organization. Thank Duke, you very much. This is your time, and this is your show. You are welcome to the Polity. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, let me start with. Uh, Habib Gajo, Habib Gajo, you are, uh, I, I don't know if you have participated physically, but what I do know is that you have continued to monitor the spectacle across Nigeria. What's your impression so far? This is day two. Yeah, I have not participated and, uh, physically, but I monitor some states and I have seen uh, the way the youth are protesting and singing their songs of freedom and also singing their songs of hunger mm -hmm. and starvation and we had some who are singing of bad governance at the same time is is part of uh, the struggle mm -hmm. you understand while uh, in the other end there is uh, hoodlums and uh, who I will call uh, aggrieved Nigerians who are going with the protest and trying to see what they can grab or what they can steal or what they can destroy or what they can cut up for themselves because there is a hunger in the land. So when, when a hungry man sees a food he don't need uh, what we call Bismillah, come and join mm -hmm. me. He will just grab it. So it happens in Kano, it happens in uh, Borno, Yobi, and some part of Bochi State, uh, and even Jigawa State. And if Jigawa State uh, is one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria, but unfortunately, uh, APC. Uh, headquarters state uh, chapter was uh, burned down to the ground mm -hmm. you understand so I will not call that uh, <coughs> a hunger protest or a bad governance I will put it as political uh, politically motivated <laughs> politically motivated uh, attack on APC though I'm mm -hmm. not APC but uh, I don't, I don't subscribe and I don't support anybody to, to attack a political party or a flag of a political party or a flag of our Federal Republic of Nigeria. I think it's unconstitutional, it's unacceptable and uh, uh, the security agencies should immediately uh, take up those guys mm -hmm. and deal with them. Now let me come back to uh, Comrade, Comrade uh, Duke Alamboye. Uh, you are the national president of Nigerian Youth Organization. So your demographic that you oversee, the demographic you oversee are the youth, which, you know, uh, constitutes close to 80% of uh, Nigerian population. Yeah. Uh, now, Everybody, everybody in this country knows the tradition, the way our, you know, protest turns out in this country. I, in particular, I was expecting that it could be hijacked. Were you surprised that in some of the states, the, the, the planned peaceful protest was hijacked? Well, thank you very much. I was not surprised. You know, I, the last time I was on your show, before the first of um, August protest, it was clearly, I clearly made my point here that... Yes, we agree with uh, ourselves. We are all aware of what is going on. Mm -hmm. We agree with the 
issues at hand, insecurity, mm. hardship, inflation in the country, all the indices for protest were absolutely correct. Mm. What we advocated for was looking at the antecedents of NSAS and other mm. protests that are taking place in this country. It is not adequate enough. It is not mm. good enough to embark on another strike. Mm. The results of strikes, strikes are the, uh, the, the, the most fiscal way of expressing demands from government. So it is a tool used in a developed country, mm. in developed countries, yeah. where the essence of strikes and the tendency for strikes can be upheld. Our country, we have diverse opinions, we have diverse cultures, diverse characters, in as much as we want to call ourselves youth. We know that we will not be so organized. I was very sure that we could not be so organized to carry out a peaceful and well-directed uh, 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 protest. So I, I suffered pain in my heart when I had uh, lawyers, when I had uh, other youth leaders come to claim, come to claim that we could have this protest in peace content. It is not true. Mm -hmm. And just in day one, you saw the massacre. You saw the 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 the, 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 the things that are happening that are coming out out of this protest. We want again this. We were advocating that look, we can for for the purpose of mm -hmm. clarity. In answers, federal government claimed that we, we are we are faceless. Mm -hmm. That was true. In answers, what did we achieve? The good intentions of answers were driven aside, and all we had was the belief okay. of our democracy. Mm -hmm. Today again. We are supposed to engage ourselves. While some people are still planning this protest, we had a call from the National Assembly. We were, we were there with the Speaker, with the Deputy Speaker, mm -hmm. members of the House of uh, Representatives, the People's Parliament. Mm -hmm. And we had very fruitful discussions. The same demand, the protest is demanding. We've got to do our own. We've got to do all, the, all of those things. Peacefully, and we're back. We are still engaging. This What we are doing in the studio today is a peace protest. We have advocated the Nigerian Youth Organization basically we have advocated that okay let us before we get to that, advocacy sorry duke before we get to that yes i uh, would we'll like to take a short break and when we return um do we continue on this line of you're welcome back and uh thanks to dio amogu who led kaftan tv news crew there to fill the pulse of protesters and you and, uh right here with me still is uh uh habib gajo and uh duke uh alamboye national uh president of nigerian youth organization Guys, you have heard Dayo uh, interviewing a protester, uh, you know, in, in, in uh, one of the, you know, pr protesting uh, yeah. spots in Abuja. And the man did say that yesterday he was tear gassed. Today he was tear gassed. And then, um, um, Duke, you were on a line of thoughts yes. where you did say the National Assembly invited you for a conversation. That was what I was expecting Mr. President to have done because, Mr. President, if I may recall, we organized medley of meetings with traditional rulers, you know, security agencies and uh, governors. But he omitted inadvertently or by commission or omission, you know, the youth demographic, people like you, that you have okay. huge following. Okay, so this is this is one problem. Responsiveness. Yeah, I agree with you that he came to the public domain to call for peace and decorum. He insisted that the 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 the, the protest shouldn't hold. Mm. But that is not enough. I think at every strata, Nigerian youths have been taken for granted. Mm. When NLC wanted to start their, their what they call, uh, ministers gave attention to it, government gave attention to it. They called for this protest. I don't think it's just sudden. Since May, the, this protest issue has been lingering. Government were aware, intelligent reports had gone that there will be protests. And the reason for the protest was clearly stated out. And they're genuine stated clearly stated mm. out mm. but that negligence that point that point at which government will say we can't do anything mm. at the dying minute they are resorting to all of this mm. I, I i sympathize so much my only problem I sympathize with who with with, with nigerians mm, okay my only problem is our ability we our ability to cope and conduct ourselves mm. in israel you could talk about the man talking on the, on the television now he's talking for himself yes. he does not know what is in the mind of the next person mm -hmm. in the next minute he cannot tell that same spot in the next one hour you cannot tell what, is, what will happen so you could say for yourself you could say for your, the spot you are you, can, you may not be able to predict what happens in other states these are our fears and the, the records are there now yeah. so many casualties both on, on the side of uh, security agencies both on the sides of innocent nigerians that have gone to protest 
So we kicked, we kicked against this protest. We thought that we could have um, a more organized session yeah. where we can air our griev grievances, occupy the social media stage, occupy the uh, main media stream, and talk about these issues. So, but again, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If not for at the advent of this protest, even media houses, you people will not even take us for take, take us seriously. Yeah, right. That is that is are the issues. <laughs> so, any way you want to look at it, the events are trying to balance each other. We will continue to talk about these things if the president or the Federal Republic of Nigeria do not come out and give Nigerians a word of uh, confidence. Mm -hmm. They are on the streets. Yesterday, I was I was watching a, a, a mother station, and somebody on the, a, a youth on, on the protest ground was saying that. If the president makes a statement today, they will hail him right from this spot. Mm. That is how sensitive Nigerians are. What are the issues on ground? Inability to purchase even food. Yeah. Now, apart from inability to purchase, scarcity of food. We are having even food crisis in our mm. country. Mm. So no production. I don't want to even talk about insecurity. Insecurity in Nigeria has become part of us. Mm. But today... We are coming to an essence that people cannot even afford three square daily meal. <clears throat> Two, some could not even afford one. It's unbearable. Bread, we used to buy 100, 200 naira. Bread is now 2,500 naira. Yeah. I'm not talking about garden now. I'm not talking about this. Those are very essential commodities now. Bread. That is how bad mm -hmm. it is. Every day we receive calls. So the protest line is very correct. And I think federal government must do an immediate palliative, not sending, not the ones they send food and all of this too. The remote cost of this is cost of production. Mm. Basically, transportation. The industry that is affected in the name or in the bid of restoring Nigeria, if we remove subsidy, the president, president had good intentions in removal of subsidy. After all, all the political, uh, all the political uh, Parties, uh, presidential candidates mm. advocated to remove subsidy. Mm, yeah. So it is true that they saw subsidy <coughs> as a canker worm to the economy, to the growth of the economy. So, but the method of removing it, and if you've removed it, and this is the impact, mm. this is the resultant effect in the economy, I think that federal government should revisit the subsidy removal to cushion the effect. That is the first step Nigerian youth will want to see. Because for once we can afford fuel cheaply, Transportation and production of, of the, the lines on within product of, of goods will reduce. He has done one that I'm very grateful about. That is uh, opening the, 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 the borders for 150 days. Again, what are those commodities mm. that are, they are propelling to come in to cushion the effect? Nothing is mentioned. Okay. So it's just there. Mm. Nobody is interested in what, import, importing anything because the line of importations are not drawn out. Not drawn what out. and what commodities are we supposed to to, 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 to import. Secondly, the National Assembly, House of Representatives in particular, has sacrificed huge six months of 50% of their salaries. But again, there's a lacuna. Mm. This money is your, 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 your returning back to, the, to cushion the economy. What is the value? Mm. Is it 100 billion? If it's 100 billion, Nigerian youths are now aware that look, 100 billion is coming again. Mm. To what part of the economy mm. are you challenging it to so that it will. It will be the one that will solve immediate problem. Mm. Order, as I'm telling you, there is hunger, and any nation that is hungry will not survive itself. It means that at daily time, at daily, at daily, at, on a daily basis, we will begin to record debts. Okay, that is the meaning. Okay. people are not happy, mm. and this protest, it is now federal government that is uh, to me, it is now federal government that is elongating it. We that are not almost joining the protest, we are also beginning to feel bad mm. because we thought that. One or two cities, is it. one or two cities with federal government, with the House of Representatives, mm. tentative, solely took upon themselves. Mm. The speaker was there. The, the, all principal officers and members were there with us. Okay. On that day, mm. we've given a resolution. This is day two. Okay. No statement has been made. So they are also escalating the protest outside. The, protest outside. the effect of what we were supposed to do to calm them down. Is not, happening. it's not happening. We expected the speaker to have visited the 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 the, the protesters. No, visited the president as he promised us. But there was a communicate. We gave him the lines of action, mm. and the 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 the, 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 uh, the speaker gave us assurance that in no few hours he's going to meet with the president. In fact, he promised to have taken one or two, three, four leaders. 
good leaders alongside with himself mm -hmm. to see the president. If even the president is not going to come out to address Nigeria, that gesture alone that is that the speaker mm -hmm. is leading youth leaders to see the president, and this is what the president has said, would have come what is happening today. Look, youths are dying. Government officials are dying. Yeah. This is day two. We don't pay that it escalates. Mm -hmm. So these are the issues on the ground. Okay. Uh, Habib Gajo, you are a businessman. You are also a public affairs analyst. You are a Nigerian. You, uh, you, you feel the pinch because you, you, you live within the country. Now you talked about the economic, you know, um, you know, implications of uh, this protest. It's going to last for 10 days if government does not uh, do anything in the interim. As of yesterday, reports indicate that an approximate worth, uh, worth of goods lost was about six billion naira. That's in one day. So imagine if it lasts for ten days, you'll be multiplying that six billion naira times ten. We're talking about sixty billion naira. And then, with what he said, tension keeps rising. People that did not join yesterday might be, you know, might be lured into joining today, which, you know, you know, uh, could exacerbate or, and, or increase the amount, the, the the economic loss beyond six billion naira that was lost yesterday how do you feel about that well uh first of all i i disagree with some of his uh, uh key point and okay. thoughts uh one of it is uh we don't have youth in nigeria uh we have young people who are who have failed uh even the organizers of the protests uh from from the angle of the young men there is a failure in that aspect when you want to embark on a strike or protest there is a way you will engage the government you understand is 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 a decision making you understand in a way that is an input and output mm. you negotiate you land in one position this is not labor labor have done their own and the day labor shut down this country for one day the, on that very day the president of the federal republic of nigeria asked the minister of finance the coordinating minister of finance to come out with a framework mm. to solve this matter you understand i do now we had from the beginning what the organizers or the so-called organizers of the protest are asking is end bad governance yeah. end bad governance is wide is in comparison you understand there is so many things in end bad governance you understand and there is but they have issued a list and of there is a demand mm -hmm. they have issued uh, that's why I'm going. List of demands, okay. There is a list of demands, four of them, which are valid one. Mm. You understand? But when the thing, uh, when the the aims have changed to hunger protests, and Nigerians are hungry, we don't believe that. There is a food everywhere in our market. Anywhere there is a food, there is no food scarcity, like he said. But there is a scarcity of power. money. Mm. You understand? There is scarcity of money, and the reason why we don't we don't have much money is because of the devaluation. So the the Nera don't have a purchasing power. Mm. If you have a money to buy a bag of rice today it will shrink to half of bag. Or you understand? Or even below. That's an economic problem. Mm. Directly, it's not a hunger. Mm. You understand? Uh, secondly, uh, like he said, youth organization. You see, in advanced countries, in African countries, all over the world, they have what they call, who they call a youth leader. Mm who represent them, who negotiate with the government, who feed them back, you understand? 
and who they support. If he said yes, it's yes. If he said no, it's no. You understand? Yeah. That's a youth leader. I will give you an example of so many countries. Even in Africa here, Malema, Julius Malema in South Africa, he's a youth leader. From uh, 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 apartheid to their independence, they organize almost over 1,000 protests. Yeah. And in that 1,000 protests, there is no uh, 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 vandalization, there is no looting, and there is no fighting. But there is a clash between police and the protesters. Some they use rubber bullet, mm -hmm. some they use tear gas. Okay. You understand? Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, 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 I,
to manage the student loan. We are recommending to you as civil society organization. Falano has built a reputation that he will not want to rubbish his reputation. Let them manage the reform subsidy. Reform the subsidy, bring it back, fight the corruption and subsidy. Prosecute those that have sold solely their money in the realm of subsidy. That is number one prayer. If you do it, every other prayer, every other demand is subdued on that subsidy. Return subsidy. If you don't, you say, you don't know what the protesters are asking for. Listen now. Return subsidy. Remove the corruption in subsidy. It's simple. If this man has listening air, he should have done that since yesterday. He should even have addressed the nation since yesterday. But he's a man that is clueless. Tulumbu is now a terror. He has unleashed economic terror on Nigerians. And now he unleashed physical harmful terror on the protesters. But history will remember you for what you have done. Thank you so much. Okay. We can fight government. You are welcome back. You are welcome back. If you are just joining us, we are still you are still on the polity, the program that takes a deep dive into political events making rounds in Nigeria, unfolding political events, and we'll be in the studio. It's getting uh, heated up, even right in the studio, just as the tension is very high in, in, on the streets. Let's take this, our first caller, uh, Gaju. Hello, good afternoon. This is the Polity. Hello, we can hear you. What's your name, please? Not in Nigeria. I want to challenge you. You can't challenge me. I'm telling you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll call you. Although people have wasted to God, we don't have good leaders. Can you tell us your name and where you're calling from? This are not able to disclose my name, but if they Okay. Yes, these are these are these are new grievances. Did you participate on the pro in the protest? Did you participate? Did you take part in the protest? I didn't work for the protest, but I am I am in support. Yeah, yes. support. I am in support of the protest. Okay. And I am afraid that there should be no loss of life. Okay. I am afraid that God Himself, they should see the hand of God in this protest. And know okay. that it is God that has raised Nigeria, not from men somewhere. Okay. Not from Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can see, feel the pain in her. So, yeah, so, so you, you can see, you can see, uh, please, I, I have the floor, please. You can see that it, it, it's amazing. Mm. Even the president had come up to own that they're suffering in the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we cannot, we cannot allow sheep politicians mm. that are, that are, that are used to come to the studio to propagate those agendas. He's not a politician. So we cannot, we cannot, we cannot allow that. Not even where we are seated. Is a business even the president, even the president has come up. Mm. Even in the in the national assembly where we attended meetings with them, they own up that. In fact, they also feel it because don't forget. You hold your thoughts there. We have a caller. Hello. Good afternoon. This is the polity. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. My name is Matthew Anko. I'm calling you from the university. Matthew, you are a regular caller from Benue State. Please go ahead with your contribution. Go ahead, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate the, the brothers in the studio. Thank you for that heated debate. Thank you. It shows that both of you are really, really Nigerians and you love yes, Nigerians. Yes, yes, we love it too. Both of you really love Nigeria. I really appreciate what you are saying. Thank you. But I want to make this point still very clear today again. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying to God that somebody listen to what the youth need.
trader in the studio is saying. Mm. Pray that somebody listen to what the other businessman in the studio is saying and listen to every caller's advice mm. in respect to this protest. Our prayer is for this protest not to go out of hand. Mm. It's for this protest not to go out of hand. And our prayer is for God to beg politicians not to make careless statements. For example, the type of statement the Senate President made the other day shows that they don't even have Nigerians at heart. We are praying to God that they should avoid careless statement. Mm. These young boys and young girls on the street who look at their faces, hear what they are saying. None of them are happy. Things are tough. And I want to let you guys know that if anybody feel he or she is not feeling the heat, is not feeling the pain, is not feeling the hunger, you shouldn't think there is no hunger in the land. I'm mm -hmm. still appealing to President Amred Tinubu to please come out and speak to the nation. Okay. Speak to the nation. Exactly what you said. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Matthew. Uh, Matthew talked about the fact that he's, he said he prays that it doesn't go out of hand. Yes. And, uh, he also condemned the careless statement calling, coming from leaders, mm. particularly, you know, the, the Senate leadership person. of the government. But uh, let me remind us that the death, death toll is already 21. Injuries, 176. And on record, arrests have been made of 1,154. We're not talking about properties that have been looted. Mm. And, you know, uh, you know uh, infrastructure has been burnt down. These and, are the consequences. And the loss of yes. six billion naira as have yesterday. Yes, these are the consequences. This is why we and others youth leaders that met to the National Assembly proposed that mm. the rally shouldn't hold. But if you if you also look at the time frame, like I also told the, the, the leaders of the National Assembly, people as we are sitting down here, mm. our colleagues are preparing. Yeah. We just did this on the thirty first. First is the, the, the proposed date. Our colleagues are already prepared. We will allow the protest, anybody, any of them that want to go for the protest to go, while we still do this advocacy. Mm -hmm. But within this period, from now to 10th of August, Federal Commission should categorically say something, say something that will make this protest come down. You saw some of our colleagues mm -hmm. said on field that if the president makes a statement contrary to what they are saying now, they will turn this protest to appraising the government. Mm -hmm. One of it is checking into that fuel subsidy okay the cost of Petrol. product within that yes. cost yes of within that product so everything is tied to it's what is it's what is affecting no economy. Economy. so we, let's take this caller please and uh, okay we have lost him go ahead we agree we agree that it meant well removing fuel subsidy yeah, yeah. but if it has turned this way mm. one year in his government he has also his difficulties mm. okay he has his difficulties let's take this caller hello good afternoon this is the polity Good afternoon. Your name, please, and where you're calling from? I'm Reverend Daniel from uh, Koki State. Okay, go, go ahead, Reverend Daniel. Thank you for the opportunity given to us to contribute to the to the program, sir. It's your show. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So we uh, we want our president to speak to the people. This thing we, we are we are praying seriously so that this protest should not lead to war. And that is what we are trying to bring about, even in the church and anywhere we are. People are hungry, even as I'm talking to you now, there is no food. Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere, our brother said that there is food. If you don't have money, how are you going to buy those food? Okay, thank and those you. food they are selling outside is very costly. Okay. So we are praying that it will not lead to war. Thank you very much, Daniel. Now, uh, at this point, we are going to join our uh, news, after news crew uh, on the streets, led by um, Dayo Amogun for more interviews to fill the, f the pulse of protesters. You're welcome back, gentlemen. We have a technical glitch there. Yeah. That doesn't matter. We are making valid contributions in the studio. Uh, go ahead with your... Yes, so, so, so I was going to say that the president also has his difficulties in running the country. It's not palatable where he is. Mm -hmm. We are all aware of that. But if in one year, instead of solutions, instead of solutions, mm -hmm. we are seeing that the economy is getting dwindling down, down. the more. 
We should not apply the same method. We should change. Okay. Talking about change, let's take this caller. Hello. Good afternoon. This is the Polity. This is the Polity. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear your name, please, and where you're calling from. Okay. I'm Mr. Joseph. I'm calling from Joss. Okay. Joseph from Joss. Yes. Go ahead with your uh, contribution. I want to commend you for the work you're doing there. Thank you so much. It's, yes. We enjoyed the program very well. Okay. We appreciate it. Uh, secondly, I want to say that in Nigeria you this day, they are suffering so much that there is no job and the cost of living is going higher. Mm. Now you see a youth that will become 40 years and still in his father's house sitting there. Mm. There is no any future for the youth in Nigeria. So the government should take this protest seriously. Mm. That is two. Three, let me say this. You have been talking about removing first subsidy. How about the mass multi-blending of water? Nobody is talking about it. How about the bundle issue that people are raising? This uh, so-called uh, um, subsidy is being perpetrated by Tinubu himself, not any other person. Uh, so look at this issue of uh, the, the corruption in some small of subsidy. Where is the issue of Uwando? Where is the issue of the multi-blending of fuel outside Nigeria where they are bringing it? Why are people are not talking about that? Let's get to that Tinubu himself. Okay. Who said that blending oil company in, 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 in mortar? Mm. What, what are they doing about it? Okay. So please let the government take this issue seriously. Okay. Otherwise, this thing will get out of hand and they cannot control it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Joseph from Joseph. You heard what he said. He talked about the allegations leveled by uh, Ali Kodangote with regards to government officials having a gas, I mean, uh, a, a petroleum blending plant in Malta. These are allegations that are yes, not substantiated. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please, I want to uh, start from where I have stopped before he interrupted mm. me. Mm. And please, I beg your pardon, please. Ahead, please. He doesn't when I'm talking, please, no, interrupt. don't interrupt. No, it will be interrupted if, because if, if he's undermining us. I think we, no, came, here, we came here to have, yes, we came here to have a fair no, discussion no, 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 on opinion. You understand? So if you, if you begin to say things that undermine he, our demography, it will be interrupted because number one, he's not my father to know my age. Number two, he's not, he's not, he doesn't have the statistics of youth, youth, he does not have the statistics of youth engagement in this country mm. it doesn't have it so you don't sit down yeah. here no, no, to no, say no, things no. that no yes no, we are high no, you then i told you that i came here to advocate no, and no, this no, is my protest no, no, i came here to protest we're going to protest we don't want we don't like what is happening on the field there yeah? mm. caused by both go, both government mm. and our youth yes. we understand all of that so we are here to advocate so we don't want anybody that come and sit still temper us the more mm. when you want to contribute Stop you contribute fairly go ahead uh you see you see I'm, I'm a public affairs analyst and also a businessman. That's right. Uh, whatever I will say, I will say the truth and nothing but the truth. And I, I, don't, hear, I don't have any personal issues with anybody. You understand? But I have my own opinion yeah, on what is happening in it's Nigeria it's today. It's, a, it's an entitlement. You understand? Mm. Uh, he misunderstood me okay. uh, when I said we don't have youth leaders. I'm not undermining you. I'm not undermining anybody. Okay. I'm not undermining the youth uh, uh, demography. Mm. You understand? My, uh, 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 my presentation that I want to build on it is both the youth and the public, uh, 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 the public uh, interest of Nigeria is one I made mention of uh, and bad governance before it turned to hunger mm. and bad governance means return back the subsidy because government is suffering from the subsidy and also Nigerians are also suffering from the subsidy in the sense that ministries department and agencies security forces vehicles they must be fueled maybe a 30,000 minimum 30,000 uh, nera fuel a week mm. if you calculate those vehicles the government fuel is hitting over 1.8 trillion to 2 trillion 
So why why won't you bring back the subsidy mm. so that you can organize mm. your government or your policies? Because this policy has some assaulted. Okay. You understand? Put the refineries in order. Four refineries, you put them in order. Yes, concord. When you put them in order, you can you can remove the subsidy. When fuel is available, mm. when we exactly. start uh, fuel, uh, 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 refining our fuel, you understand? Our refineries, employment will come, businesses will open. Beautiful. You understand? We will stop. We will stop importing uh, 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 fuel. You understand? And it will cut our foreign exchange mm. and Nera will gain its value. And this form passed with the you understand? By the Yes, that's, that's why I'm going. Mm. You, you, you understand? Secondly, the second demand is insecurity. Mm. People can't go to the farms. People can't go to their villages. People can't travel freely. You understand? Mm. And all is caused by bad governance. Mm. This one is bad policy that some assaulted. Mm. But this one is bad governance. Okay. You understand? <laughs> now, that's, that's the second one. The third one is the economy. Mm. You understand? The economy is not moving. Manufacturers are not manufacturing. Small scale are not producing. Are home businesses are no longer there. Mm. What I mean by home businesses is those who are doing zoo Tiger not kuli kuli. Kuli kuli and <laughs> so on. What exactly. they put in their fruits, uh, chin chin, <laughs> cup pop and uh, meat pies and cakes. You, un right. you understand? Because of cost of electricity. Mm. Remove that. Allow the economy to, to, to function. You understand? Yeah. Mm. To determine how it will revolve uh, itself. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, but you strangle <clears throat> the economy. You strangle the, the 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 heart of Nigerians, and also you impose hardship on them. The last one is mm. there is a subsidy in education. There is subsidy in uh, 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 in agriculture. There is subsidy in healthcare. Mm. You understand? All these things are no longer there. Fertilizer is over 40, 48,000 to 50,000. Yeah, so if yeah. you have one hectare, how many bags fertilizer, of uh, fertilizer, fertilizer do you buy? have to, 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 uh, to, to farm your one, one uh, acre? You understand? That's what we are saying. Mm. So now, the insecurity, look at Nigerian police, mm. look at the military. They are overwhelmed. Let us say the truth. Mm. They are overwhelmed. The even the the uh, 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 civil defense that was created to help police yeah. are now incapacitated mm. because there is l lack of manpower. Yeah. I think even even one of the security agencies has has even admitted that they don't have manpower That's to true. contain or to support the protesters. Mm. You understand? Mm. Now. Uh, uh, this the second part of it where you got me wrong mm. you understand when we say we are hungry President Bola Abe Tunumbu he took our hunger for granted and gave us 20 trailers of, of rice, of rice. Yeah. that is why I don't subscribe to, to hunger hang. matter it's not I'm not saying okay. Nigerians are hungry okay. are not hungry yeah. mm. you understand yes we need we need more than that we need we need more than that okay we Gajo. need policy Gajo. not stipend okay you understand Gajo, you, you, I, I, I quite agree with you I that agree we with need you. policies not stipends but let's join our uh, Kafta news crew on the street so that we can hear we feel the pulse of uh, protesters we'll come back we'll continue you're welcome back and it's still the polity a political program that takes a deep dive into unfolding political events in nigeria oh, and even beyond the shores of the country and now uh break, there's a breaking news and uh, that says following distress calls on the activities of some hoodlums who took advantage of the ongoing protest which began on thursday first august 2024 to block the liberal end of the show musayradua expressway at about 10 pm embarked on a massive robbery you know an assault of innocent citizens which led to an exchange of fire with police operatives in Ligbe area of abuja the federal capital territory command hereby puts all medical personnel in and around the federal capital territory on high alert to the possibility of receiving victims 
with gunshot wounds. In line with the compulsory treatment and care for victims of gunshot acts 2017, it is instructive to note that such patients come under medical emergencies that require urgent attention in order to save the life of the patient and should be accorded all necessary medical assistance. However, the police division and formation within the jurisdiction of such hospital or healthcare facility should be informed to, you know, to interview such patients so as to ascertain their presence you know, and roles in the prevailing security situation in the FCT. The Commissioner of Police hereby warns unscrupulous elements who may want to hide under the guise of protest to carry out heinous crimes such as armed robbery, shop breaking, rape, assault on innocent citizens and vandalization of public property to desist from such as police officers and other security agents have been put on red alert to curtail them and maintain law and order. The Commission of Police in charge of the Federal Capital Territory, Commissioner of Police Bennett C. Igwe, while appreciating residents of the FCT for their continuous cooperation, assures that all relevant measures will be, you know, will be put in place to ensure that the current protests do not infringe on their fundamental rights or cause them, you know, losses or damage to their property. This message, well, you know, was a statement from a uh, uh, superintendent of police, Ade Josephine. Uh, she's the police public relations officer of the, you know, uh, Federal Capital Territory Police Command, uh, Abuja. Uh, with that, gentlemen, you have heard the, yeah. you know, the breaking news from the police command of the Federal Capital Territory. It has degenerated into armed robbery, yeah. so, and that is the fear you have, you have, you have entertained. Yes. That government should have mitigated this thing earlier on, mm. so that it will not, you know, snowball into, you know, something on top, and that is yeah. exactly what is happening. How do you react to that? Okay, well, uh, it's not strange. Well, I, I appreciate a very smart. Uh, CP mm. in, in, in the FCT. I think uh, I want also I want also thank himself and his men mm. for the thus far. Yesterday we saw them um, uh, escorted the protesters from the from the from, from the, the stadium, stadium. Yes. politely and cordially down yes. until you know there's a, a court injunction with the court court restricting, injunction, them. restricting them from mm. the areas and until they started shooting uh, this thing. Well, you cannot take a, take away these issues within uh, the protest mm. like i said we are not we are not formidable enough it was certain an instance mm. those are countries that they they they, 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 know, they know their onions yeah. we in mean, our demography <laughs> like we are still yes we are still we are still not there i can agree that we are not still, still not there while we are intending to carry out a peaceful demonstration with aimful good aims and objectives some of our colleagues some people that do not even know you saw some people that are interviewed they don't even know what what the protest is it's all about mm. yes so this is a mixture of and and what, mm. what what pains me more the reason why i i even said we don't have youth leaders in mm. nigeria is because norms went to the presidency and i don't know what happened and they came out and they said they are not in support of the protest now that's Niger national Nigerian association. student association, association. Yes. Okay. you understand mm. which is very very wrong and very disappointing mm. you understand traditional leaders mm. went there emirs and obas and aces went there. there you understand everybody is going there we don't know and they will come out they will not address the, co the, the country issues. they yeah. will not say this is what we have discussed with the president this is what he agree what this is what he does no sorry let me let me, let me let me point of correction no 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 you body Mm. have met with the president, the president yeah. Yeah, not, no 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 youth president have met with the president directly no i'm not saying they would youth have president no nans nans is on those state nans mm. that no, took no. a position against the protest on those state nans. yes they, they, yes uh, because uh, we're uh, all uh, yes, we're all to the charter mm. because i'm I'm, mm. I'm 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 no, it's not a record that nans met with mr no president. there's no record let me tell you is is one of the charter of uh, 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 student association. You are correct. Yes. Mm. You understand. Mm. If a body mm. of a state take a position, it affects the national. It affects the national. Also, mm. ASU too 
is the same thing. If ASU of uh, Unibank or Uniben took a position, is binding on all what ASU. Are, what, I know, what, what I know. I know. Yeah. 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 What I know. Continue. What I know is that. No, we were called. Sorry, Duke, before okay. we continue, we right. I would like to hear that. Yes. What you were told. Well, let's take this caller. Good afternoon, and this is the Polity from Kaftan Television Live from Abuja Studios. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. Go ahead, we can hear you. Uh, raise your voice a little bit, please. We, uh, you're not very, very audible. Hello, good afternoon. You're on to Kaftan Television, The Polity. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. Chukudi from Odi, Odi. Okay, Odi. Okay, hey, go ahead with your contribution. Okay, um, I just want to make an issue clear. Okay. When they talk about meeting with the president, meeting with the government officials and all of that, how many people or where how many people did the president call uh convey meeting before he made that declaration of where subsidy remover? <laughs> it is just because our people when they want to buy time, they are not sincere. We have never had a sincere leader. Mm -hmm. With the soul of later and we are resting in peace. Mm -hmm. The only sincere, most sincere president that we've ever had. And the combination of that guy and Jonathan Weah was actually the best. Can Tinubu come out clearly to 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 apologize to them with what he did in twenty twelve? Because everything is to the best is what he's doing. Now, in fact, he has done what let us be very frank. The leaders have taken the Ni Nigerian citizen for granted for too long. Mm. You can't be telling me over a month they tell you a protest will hold for a very long period. You wait until one week to the period and then you are running from mm. pillar to post. Yeah, having post. meeting with Sultan, having meeting with this one, having meeting with this one, having meeting with this one, security team, and then you deploy them against the citizen. It is very unfortunate that even the security that have been deployed most time to attack the innocent protesters are also members of the suffering masses. Mm. But they are still allowed themselves to be used yeah. because they have not, I don't know what, because if you tell me to go and do the wrong thing, I think I should be able, the sanity in which you to tell me that I have to operate with you, in particular, the book now, which security personnel has a wife that is not a civilian. They are wives, their children are also civilian population. So why do you attack people? We mm. are the suffering people. The elites have no religion. The elites have no political party. As long as it's beneficial to both of them across the political mm. line, or even those that are even in the entrepreneurial uh, setting, there are also people that are united, highly united, mm. so long as benefit, common benefit is uh, concerned. Thank you. Thank but you, Odi. only when they want to use the masses, yes. that they will tell you, yeah, your brother, no, Thank no, you, Odi. No, no, <laughs> I think a lot of people who should be sincere to our conscience yeah. or want. Okay, we thank have you. Everything. Why are we suffering like this? Thank you, you know what to do a subsidy removal, of course. Do the needful. Yeah. You know what to do if they want to do yeah, the right thing. They are not Because they are also from this place. Why is it that their children are not here? If the country is good. If what they are doing is good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, have you not seen the other nations working freely? Thank you, Ode. Thank you so much, Odi. He has raised so much valued points. Yes, yes. Valid uh, points. Let me briefly okay. before you. Mm. You see, this is a valid uh, mm. uh, question he raised. Mm. When he was removing the subsidy, he didn't meet. One, mm. he removed the subsidy in Eagle Square. Mm. He went out of script. Yeah, and he, part of the script. And the sentence, the words, and the sentence, if you compose mm. them, they are. 30 seconds. And there are three words. Subsidy has it's been gone. removed. Subsidy is gone. And subsidy is gone mm. and is gone for good. Mm. And today, one year, two months, one year, two months, mm. that subsidy mm. still remain with us. Mm. Today, they will say it's been removed. To tomorrow, they will say it's back, this and that and that. You understand? Mm. So, at that time that he, he declared the removal of the subsidy, he don't have a ministers. Okay, yes. He don't have a national assembly. Correct. He don't have advisors. He don't have anybody. It's only him and Kashi Shatima that were sworn in. Okay, uh, Gajo, let's let's uh, take a short break and join our our colleagues 
uh, the Kafta media team led by Dayo Amogo on the street, so that we can feel the pulse of protesters right on the ground. You're welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the Polity live from Kaftan Television Studios in, in, in Katampe, Abuja. My name remains Makoli Hunashi, and remaining with me in the studio in the course of this show, uh, no other persons than Habib Gajo, Habib Gajo, a, a political affairs analyst, and our very in house resource person here, a regular face on Kaftan TV Studios. And uh, Duke Alamboye is a comrade and uh, national president of Nigerian Youth organization and we are here taking a look at the protest uh, this is the second day of the protest and reactions you know actions and outcomes of one and a half days of the planned protest before we went we went on that break you know you were on the line of thoughts right here, please. okay so uh, i was going to explain youth bodies were invited by the leadership of the house of representatives and the members mm. so we attended that meeting i was day for yesterday and we heard what they told us. Basically, is that they want to hear from us. They prefer a dialogue. They prefer dialogue to 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 to, to protest. The house was filled. We had about almost um, hundred and something youth leaders okay, in that understand. building mm -hmm. from different states, from different organizations, uh, from different region, regional leaders, state leaders, and all of all of that. We were all there. So it was a mixture of. People that wanted the protest to hold. That's on, on the 31st. On the 31st. On the so, so, so that, yeah, that's, that's why I agree with him. Th these are the, these are the, the, the rush hours of, of the plans. The plans. Some of us that were there, we already in, in, in joined up to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the protest. Mm. Some of us have said, declined to sit out. Let's not protest. If we look at the indices around protesting, it will rather escalate things. The demands will not end. The presidents, the president, had also come up two days before the time to also say that look mm. hello, let's take this caller sorry you will continue on that line yes. before we get to him hello caller alabi hello yeah good afternoon is that caller alabi yes i'm the one i'm online oh caller alabi go ahead i'm calling from mina yeah we know if you're calling from mina caller yeah, alabi yes i'm 100 percent so uh, support of this protest but the way and manner with which uh, we handle this protest is very very wrong uh, I think uh, if the president will vote for him, do a new vote, then uh, we have a national assembly member, we have governors, we have local government chairman, we voted for them. Have they come to talk to us? We find anything from them. Hmm. So now, the protest is very good, but we you know that the majority of Nigerians, very literate, people are hungry, and angry person can do whatever I want to do. Anything, yeah. So what, what I want to beg us, is that this country must move forward. We youth, we must unite to stop these people. During the election, they should not bring money to us. Mm. And President Tinubu should sit well. His mistake was that when the subsidy was removed, he's supposed to tell us, and I think they should let over know, he should let us know what the uh, Mr. President Buhari handed over to him. Mm. But we don't know. Our senators are there, our are there, Congress are there, they are not talking to us. Then what, what are we doing? If they don't take time, our protests will go to local level. Okay. Chairman, the governors, and the House of Press member, we voted for them. They should open up and talk to us. Okay. They are the closest person to us. Thank you, Kola Alibi. We cannot match to Abuja, so thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kola Alibi, for your contribution. He, he mentioned something, he said, they are not talking to us, but the House of Red members yes, do so talk to you. So, so, so but were you united there? Oh, that, that, that's what I'm there. saying. That's what I'm saying. There was, the, the meeting didn't start. It was not a unity meeting. Okay. It's a meeting to express ourselves. The House of Representatives and the elite leadership had invited Nigerian youths, mm. leaders in particular, to express what we intend to do on the protest. Instead of going to protest, they don't want to protest because of these indices. Mm. Ijack, insecurity level, yeah. killings, we'll attack, them. not being able to connect properly. These are the indices they put before us. So they would prefer a dialogue to state out. Prior to this time, the president had come up to also through his, uh, I don't know, maybe directly, or I don't know what medium, to speak to Nigerians to say that through the Minister through of Information, information to speak to Nigerians, yes, yes, that we should calm down yeah, and all of that. That's right. Which to us, it was the best comment coming from before God and man. Mm that that response even came yes. was okay it was okay secondly a follow-up was 
the National Assembly, the people's house, mm. people that, like the caller, uh, mm. the caller rightly said, yes. that are close to us, had invited us to know why we want to protest. Mm. But again, in that house, we all unanimously agreed that, number one, mm. it is quite late. As we sit down here, mm. I particularly made that submission. Mm. As we sit down here, deliberating, our colleagues have printed t-shirts. They are mobilized. They are mobilized mm. to be on field. We will make a communique to say that, please, in as much as we are not going, it will also drowse the, the level and tension of the rally. As you can see, the eastern states... I think, I remember you told me about that meeting. Yes. On Friday. On Friday. You told me on Friday. The eastern states isolated themselves because of that communique. Mm. Some of, most of the youth organizations mm. has communicated themselves. Civil, civil society are predominant in this rally and lawyers mm. are predominant in this rally. Mm. Now, we came to an agreement that we in that hall will serve ourselves. We will not join the protest. Only that the, pres the, the speaker will take our message to the president. We spoke about fuel subsidy. They should, we are not saying that they should bring back completely the fuel subsidy. If they can turn down the cost of per liter to even 200 or 300, somewhere that it is, it can be manageable mm. for people. You have increased wages. That is not all. What is the purchasing power of 70,000 naira at least? Yeah. At least a worker in Nigeria should earn 70,000. That is the minimum, minimum, uh, minimum wage. What can 70,000 naira yeah. buy yeah. in a month? You're talking about the value. The value. Mm. If you don't mm. reduce these indices, these indicators of the economy mm. are still in the high point. It will still affect us. So the result that cost mm. cost of all this is the fuel. Today I bought thirty thousand of fuel to drive from Apo to meet you in this studio. You are saying the obvious. You are saying the obvious. Uh, let me go to Gajo. Gajo, as a businessman, what is the value of seventy thousand naira? Like you, 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 you did ask. What's the value of seventy thousand naira today in Nigeria, in view of the, you know. Let us analyze 70,000 naira in a day, in a day, in a day, in a day expenditure. In the life of a, an average Nigerian. In uh, day. Uh, I'm not saying that the federal government has said people should earn 70,000 naira. I know the multiplier effect according to your level, mm. according to your standard, your 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 degree mm. in various sectors. But 70,000 naira minimum wage means that the least person mm. working in this country should earn 70,000 70, naira. So, uh, the value of 70,000 Naira cannot rent you a war room. A value of 70,000 Naira will not buy you a bag of rice, cannot buy you a soup, cannot... Can you cater for anybody, a bachelor? Let's talk about a bachelor. I'm talking about a bachelor, you not a family. About a bachelor, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because okay. a family need 200 to 300,000 to survive. Yeah. Uh, well, that one by the side. Mm -hmm. By the side. Um, I'm building on how Tunumbu came into the government yeah. and destabilized the economy. Okay. And uh, when he removed that subsidy, the only two elected officials is <laughs> is him and the vice president. At that time. Yes. The the National Assembly were not inaugurated. No ministers. You understand? And no ministers. No advisors. <laughs> um. He now offer eight thousand naira palliative. Mm. That is why I disagree with that palliative mm. issue. Mm. You understand? And when Nigeria rejected it, he now came up with another conditional transfer. You understand? Nigeria still rejected it. And my pain, I will tell you today. When he went to borrow money from supplementary budget before the national assembly ascended to to that uh, 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 loan they cut their own share of 75 or 76 billion naira. Mm -hmm. they shared three three hundred million to senators to uh, 150 to house of representative members to buy suvs us they came on the tv and intimidating us harassing us and telling us that the roads are no are no longer 
uh, motor rubble, so they need they say they need SUVs. Mm. We have not said anything. We have not challenged anything. This man continued. He devalued Nora. The day he presented his budget, his first budget, the budget he called budget of hope, mm. he devalued Nora from 445 to 650. At that time, the crude price per barrel is $90. And the benchmark was seventy dollar. Yeah. So when you put ninety dollar plus seventy dollar, you are in deficit. You are in deficit of. Uh, he now quickly the central bank now quickly jack the the foreign exchange Forex. to seven hundred officially to eight hundred to nine hundred to um, to one thousand one thousand to. And only God knows where it is now. As an attempt to cover for the it, deficit. It, 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 yes, mm. you understand. Because there is a, a capital expenditure, there is a, 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 a deficit, mm. you understand. And there is also a, a, a capital project, mm. you understand. Now he has to choose one. Okay. Our debt servicing is 21 trillion. Mm. How much do we generate? The last administration he inherited generated 18 trillion. Mm. You understand? So look at the gap. Okay. So he keep borrowing and borrowing and yes. borrowing. Uh, sorry. And what to know of this today? We have also learned of the plan of an approval from African Development Bank, headed by Nigerian, you know, um, Adeshina, uh, that has approved. Loan for Nigeria to the tune of five hundred million US dollars. Yes. So the mini the minister will, yesterday. The the federal government the minister will borrow, you understand? And the NNPC will also borrow. In one year, NNPC borrow, borrowed five billion US dollars from African Development Bank mm. to support forex exchange okay. market. And when <coughs> when the price of uh, forex crash to uh, a dollar, let me give example to dollar to nine hundred and fifty. Our food inflation keep rising. It's down close to forty. So it means we have an internal crisis. Okay. We have a problem okay. internally. Someone is joining us uh, from outside. Please, uh, this is uh, the polity. Your name, please, and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is. My name is Sunday. I'm calling from. Taraba. Sunday, thank you for joining us today on the politics. Yes. Go ahead with thank your you, contribution. Yeah, sir, I want to comment all of you in the studio there. We are and secondly, uh, I want to agree with each and every uh, guest in the studio there. And to some extent, we are just focusing on the government. And we forget to focus on ourselves. What are we doing to alleviate our own hardship in the country? If you look at it, most of our youth are not doing any job. Everybody tries to go mechanized. Let's take the farming uh, aspect of it. Everybody is going mechanized. They go to buy uh, pesticides, uh, weedicides from the market. Let's forget pesticides and deal with weedicides. Okay, if there is the youth should be engaged properly, more especially in our farms. When it is time for weeding, and our youth are engaged, they have money to buy whatsoever they cost. If the money is there, the youth will be able to buy it. But where there is no money, the youth are not engaged. They don't have any source of income. Even if that product is just one naira in the market, it doesn't have the money to buy it. What do you think will happen? Hunger will crop in. And by the time he is feeling hunger, like in Nigeria now, we can bear any other thing in the country, but we cannot bear hunger. Yeah. That is the truth about it. And that is one thing that is rising the protest to this extent. So where our youth are properly engaged, they have source of income. Yeah. About 70% um, of the Nigerians completely, let's forget about the youth, said, of Nigerians completely are engaged and are having source of income that they are having. There will be no problem. And then secondly, the farmers at the other 
and also contributes to our problem in Nigeria. How do I say so? Because if you look at it at this point where we are now, no farmer in Nigeria has any cream in his house. He has to go to the market to buy. Why is he going to the market to buy as a farmer? He didn't even store up what he will eat up to this extent. So all the food are sold to marketers and marketers hoarded the food. And now some even exported the food outside this country. Now we are having a security, food insecurity in the okay, country. Okay. Well, okay. we want to do all these things. So the government too has to look at all this aspect of life okay. where our food or the farmers themselves, they should look at how they can be able to store up food that they can eat for a year. Okay, and then you. if you look at, okay, let's take for instance, the three of you in now. the studio now, how many of you are having a local garden behind your house? You have 20 seconds. Sunday, no, because you have to points. go to the market to buy a tomato. Okay. You have to go to the market to buy your, mm. uh, what do they call it, uh, amaranthus. Mm. You buy other small, 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 small sweet things. So by the time all of us go to the market, do you think if there is high demand, the marketer will uh, leave his price at mm. the below? No, you will okay. jack it off because okay. the high demand is there. So by the time we do as masses in the country, we will not do our own bit. Mm. We will not have enough reason to hold the government to ransom in some other cases. People that are dying mm. now may not die. And then secondly, I'm the problems of like uh, the gentleman in the middle, yes. in a, uh, uh, rightly said, they were invited to the House of Assembly, invited by other uh, different uh, stakeholders to go and then talk about whatsoever. What were their responses? Did they agree that they will do something reasonable to alleviate the poverty? If they don't, then let the uh, protest continue. Okay, so thank you. Let them feel the impact. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Sunday. What I picked, my takeaway from here is that he said, uh, you know, you talked about the supply that hardly meets demand, mm. particularly of consumables, that, and he's encouraging people to, you know, utilize their backyards to, uh, let me, to let me, like let like me disagree with him. Um, mm. Most Nigerian youths, most of Nigerians, not even Nigerian youths, mm. most of Nigerians now are engaged in online sales yeah They're see money. I, I don't like when people talk when they don't have the statistics mm. we fought for not too young ground bill it yeah. was passed to law mm. and today during the elections it was still in a on ait i told them that confidently within the gap of 18 to 40 45 mm. 40 we have about 68 percent of state executives state mm. uh, assembly members mm. within that range in the National Assembly, within that range, mm -hmm. today we have tackles of young legislators. Yeah. In the ca and that is because we stood, we fought for it, and youths began to understand that they should be players in the political sector. They got it right. One of the indicators, one of the facts that I owe close to my heart is that everything is snowballing to the president. Mm -hmm. And that is because he has, he's having 48 ministers. These 48 ministers are the wagers of the government. They are the face of the government. They project the ideals, the aims and objectives of the government. They execute government policies to reality so that we feel the impact of this administration. We saw the Minister of Trade and Industry. She stood there and told us two do's, what I call fake mm. analysis. Mm. It could be correct, mm. my brother, that the president had made this provision. But if you say and in one year, we kept hearing, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, all our submission is we will, we will, we will. All the advocacies, all the good plans that she told Nigerian youths in that gathering. Because they invited four ministers, I mean five ministers. Mm. The minister of trade and industry came. Everything she spoke there. Let, us, let them tell us the number of youths they have impacted with those projects. Mm physical youths with genuine names and phone numbers expose them mm -hmm. let us even know that uh -uh, what, what are we even fighting for this 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 in this initiative from the ministry of trade okay. has empowered have about this number of I youths we don't know if this is like that everybody my own minister very good woman came up all 80 percent of our submission we will we will who's we will, will we will who is your own minister <laughs> minister of youth. You know minister of youth okay you understand 
so 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 this she's is a, a, she's a lady now. This is a lady. This is where sorry sir, sorry sir. This is where the problem lies. Okay. Government will come and say the deputy speaker stood up. He highlighted so many initiatives this government has taken. Has taken that the problem is assessing those initiatives. Okay. Are those initiatives reachable? Okay. Are they accessible? Okay. I have a question for Gajo based on the, the same line, yes. line of thought. Uh, uh, Robert Habib Gajo, I have sat down here with two young Nigerians, both of them undergraduates in Nigerian universities, mm. doing very well, and they are also schooling in, in university that you can refer to as Ivy League, which means they are in good universities. I've asked them point blank questions. You know, you belong to a demographic in this government that is the youth demographic, and you have a minister. Tell me the name of the minister of youth development they don't know and i'm saying why so the conclusion was that if a young man does not know the name of his own minister that means the minister is failing in, in his own duties because <coughs> you need media visibility to be visible and media visibility gives you you know it, it makes you popular so if they don't need so the question now is i've heard people call on mr Tinubu to sack, that's the word they use, to sack his ministers because according to them, they are not working, you know, in, in tandem with his intended vision of renewed hope. What, what's your reaction to that? Uh, there is nothing like renewed hope in the first place. Okay. Those ministers, he should sack them and he don't need minister. Tunubu don't need minister. He's the only one formulating his policies. He's the only one... Executing. Executing. Them. Is the, L, is the only one that will choose where he want to put his policy or where to work. His so policy drive. Ministers, let them all go back to their state and uh, 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 to their businesses. Nigerians don't need them. Tonumbu himself that appointed them. He appointed them for political purpose. They are no longer relevant. Let them go. Let, them, let, 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 let our country be free you understand let us let, sorry let, okay. let, 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 let us let us let us take exception mm. to some ministers yeah if you, yeah if you say yeah yeah if you say yeah because uh, yeah we, we might be undermining we might undermine the effort mm. of other other ministers well, like, there, like there, the, the minister of youth there is no the two ministers the two ministers of youth that we have today yes believe me in spite of Can this their names in spite of these lapses in spite of the lapses why are you in spite of these lapses they are the closest. They are the closest. Is it Dio? Dio and uh, the one from Niger, the, yes. the lady. You, they are the closest to, Musa. To, so, to us. Is it Anatu Musa? They are the closest to us. Okay, Anatu Musa, yes. They are, the the closest, they are the closest to us. Why I say that is that it is the first time we are doing youth programs mm. that we are seeing ministers attending, even in their low esteem level. You see, we, we, when, they are, when they come before us, we are not seeing that. A minister that has been pumped yes. financially exactly. to hold the ministry. Mm. But you know, they still come to us, they discuss with us. The, the senior minister, she has lots of, lots of laudable projects. Mm. But I know our constraint is they are not well financed. Not well financed. Uh, these, these are the uh, let, me, let me tell you, in some countries, then you cannot, you cannot take it away from the FCT minister mm. that is working around to ensure that and the FCT is also works, works, the works minister. Uh, that's the, the, that's the lazy ministers you are, you are mentioning now. No, I mean, I mean, disagree with you. It's a lazy minister. 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 Check their, their ministers. United States of American president has 14 ministers and 18 advisors. 14. 14 ministers. Uh, you know, United States of America advisors. They have 50 states. They have 50, 60 states. 60. 60 st okay. states. But he has secretaries in every ministry. But what are you know, what are states? Even, let me tell you, even the judiciary, even the judiciary, it's a department. Mm. It's not a ministry. Mm. You understand? Yes. So, 
when you structure the government very well, you don't need all this bunch of Babariga and uh, <laughs> uh, they will go to Sheraton Hotel. Unfortunately, Trasco, unfortunately that is not the system. system. Unfortunately, unfortunately that is not the system. system. Uh, in, mm. like, like Ghana, the Ghanaian president don't have uh, uh, up to 10 ministers. You understand? They have few few sectors. They manage some. They, they, uh, mm. You understand? Okay, let, so, uh, let's take this caller. Hello, this is the polity you are Good afternoon, you're welcome. Hello, we can hear you loud and clear. You're on to the polity on Kaftan Television, live from Abuja Studios. Go ahead, sir. You understand? They are wasting our money. Ministers in this government, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, give them 8, 8 million naira. Mm. 8, 8 billion naira for takeoff. Governors were given can you 50, can you 50 billion. Eh? Can you substantiate that? Eight billion. Eight, Eight billion, billion was given to ministers. Okay. And even when the argument came, the president said is for the running of the uh, the spokesman of the president said, is the running of the uh, ministries okay. for for one year so that they will not ask for any money okay. because there uh, 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 there is no budget. They are now going for supplementary budget and so on. Mm. You understand? What is eight billion? What is eight billion to the ministry? Governor governors got fifty uh, five billion mm. to take off. Mm. We are in this country when we are trying, when we are fighting subsidy, uh, 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 reform of judiciary, and uh, 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 reform of our economy and security challenges. These people are lavishing money. Mm. Okay, let's take this call, uh, Habib. Uh, good afternoon. This is the Politics from Kaftan Television. Go ahead, we can hear you. The, the if, if, in fact, is the minister of uh, works and housing is the one that came out and even defended that it billion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, sorry, Abid. Hold thoughts there. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. This is Captain. This is Captain Television. Matt, uh, the polity. Please go ahead. Go ahead. We can hear you. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Your name, please, and where you're calling from, and then make your contribution. Yes, I'm calling from Abuja. Yes, your name, please, first. Your name, please. My name is Abdelzak. Okay, go ahead with your comments or contribution. Yeah, thank you very much. The, the gentlemen in the studio have done very well. Thank you, we appreciate you. And I would like, I would like them to observe one or two things. Okay, and go I, ahead. Necessary, it is very necessary for us as a nation to understand that the system we are running is unnecessarily expensive. <laughs> the presidential system is unnecessarily expensive and this country cannot continue with it. Okay. Secondly, I think the emphasis is too much on this on the federal government. What are the states doing? Yeah, you said so. Mm. And that is why we must credit the federal government as at now for making sure that federal that uh, local government allocations go directly to the states, to the local government. Okay. Thank you, Razak. Thank you for your contribution, you Razak. You know, you're talking about so much emphasis, Mr. President. Tinubu, Tinubu, Tinubu. What about the subnationals? I remember stimulus packages that Tinubu has released to, to state governors. Recently, he released 10 billion naira to each state governor to take care of the CNGs. And what about the, the, the grains from the strategic reserve and things like that? But there's so much emphasis on the center. President Tinubu, I agree that yes, the box stops on his desk. Yeah. But what about the subnationals? We're not talking about them. This is this is this is this is what unfortunately this is and what, that's what Razak is saying. Yeah, this is what we practice. And that is why in one of my comments, I, I was talking to my executive and I told them that let us he also said it, which I also agree, let us direct our protest. Mm. If you say protest for yes. bad governance, mm. it's just to open to open, yeah. Let us say protest for uh, the agricultural sector. Mm. So in this government, Mr. President, we are hearing your agri ag ag uh, minister of agriculture. You are, you are doing well here. Yes, but here. Yeah, we have a problem. We are facing the 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 the, the, the minister of uh, what do you call? Uh, you know, let us direct minister of trade and industry. Mm. What is blue economy? Mm. <laughs> the minister of blue economy. <laughs> let us face him. That is when I think they will also take us serious. It's to make let us do seminars that to say that we are inviting the minister of 
A, B, C, D to this seminar. Mm. They will not appear. And that we are summoning them for social cause. Mm. They will not appear. That's one thing. They even even programs that favors them, they don't come. They don't come. Is it the program that I want to do? So, you, the, 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 I was going to try to tell Nigerians the outcome of that meeting. If you could permit me okay, to yeah, yeah. tell us that, that outcome. Mm. So, we had lots of arguments, and then we said to them that we may not join the protest if, number one, they look into these sectors. The fuel, types of fuel should be mm. reduced, mm. Uh, insecurity should be handled. A youth commission. Mm. A youth commission should be established. Should be, uh, should be established mm -hmm. where we can gather employment processes, get correct data of Nigerian youth that are not employ employability and all of that. We recommended this to them, and the person, the, the 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 speaker, has showed us that he is going to have leaders attached to himself. I see the president mm -hmm. to also submit this to the president for the president to react. So this is the one. The two and it's, they should expedite that action on it because the more they leave it, I have I me, mean, I personally have planned that I've said it for the first time. If they don't do it and this day this, it comes to the fourth day, we will mobilize those youth that went to the National Assembly and also do a press release to say that we want to join our colleagues mm -hmm. on the field because it's like what they understand is what is happening here. Mm -hmm. And that meeting, for emphasis, for emphasis, mm. it, you held that meeting on the 31st day. 31st day. Yes, I'm saying it for emphasis. So that you yes. Know. It, 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 my youth group alone, we are we we about 4.8 million. That's in the, in the country. Mm. We're not talking about NANS. We're not talking about uh, National Youth Council. Are uh, you uh, 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 that all of us, Yoruba Youth Council that attended, every youth group that have their Small, 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 Yes, my name is Kishama. I'm calling from Osaka. Kishama. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead with your contribution. Yes, I appreciate your comment. I appreciate those uh, these two gentlemen in the studio. They are actually doing well. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you. you too. Yeah, my take on this is that our leaders must understand that yes, we actually have a problem. Okay. One of the problems we have in this country is that there is breach of communication between our leaders and the people. Okay. Once, uh, once a like something like this is happening, they will try to attribute it to the opposition. No, they shouldn't be calling opposition in everything. Mm. There is the problem. Yes, there is the problem. How can we address the problem? Headlock. I think this should be our problem. This is what our leaders should do. They will know that yes, uh, they, they, they have the plight of the people and they actually want this country to go. But if there is a problem and you are refusing to identify that there is a problem and you are attributing it to to, to, to opposition, I don't think it's very healthy for the okay. country. Thank and you. I pray that you help us and keep Nigeria safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Kishama. You're welcome. Go ahead. Okay, so this is this is this is the resolution and we feel that we left 31st first second we mm -hmm. should have been called yeah. to say let's see the president and our colleagues on the field would have seen the reaction yeah, the effect yeah. of what we did. so it's not against what we are doing mm -hmm. and what they are doing now we it's becoming an eyesore to us mm -hmm. seeing our colleagues dying seeing our colleagues being tear gassed because we already know that it's not going to be cordial mm -hmm. so you see that they take that communicate we have with them quickly so that our colleagues will say, okay, what we did is now uh, 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 um, bring it, yielding fruit, yeah. then they cannot step down. Okay. I repeat it. People even, youth on the street have also said, mm. in the protest, I've said that if the president comes to address the nation, have said so, yeah. they will retrieve from that. And I don't know why and how it will be difficult. This is why we need the advisors. This is why we need their prompt reaction so that this protest will stop. Don't forget, Somebody observed, the caller observed. The policemen, the security agencies on the field are also part of the suffering in this country. Yes. But you will not blame them. That is what they've signed to do for the nation, to protect mm -hmm. the integrity of the nation and what and protect lives and property. So, in the course of doing this, they're also losing their lives. Mm -hmm. Women and children are becoming fatherless. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's take this caller. Hello, good afternoon. This is the Polity for Capital Television. Your name, please, and where you're calling from? I'm from Okay, raise your voice a little bit so that you can be more audible, please. I'm Uche from Inmo Street. Uche, raise your voice a little bit. I said I'm Uche from Inmo 
Okay, go ahead with your show. Once now, the first step in this case. So, I should try to hear the person's voice by telling, asking them what they want. So, the masses will now tell their, 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 their director mm. of what they want. So, my own opinion now is that let them hear the, hear the masses' voice. So, let them try to invest on them the brilliant ones and the the has future. Okay. And train mm. them Thank you. so that everything will be going on. So the all this I don't see it as they are good thing. Thank you. Okay. It's not clear. It's not clear at all. Uh, many are many are many are wounded. So which is the uh, line is very very uh, yeah. of, of epileptic yes okay go ahead uh, I I want to ask uh, the president of youth Mr. Mensa go ahead today where are the national assembly members where is the speaker they are out of the country they are not here to answer anything that is how sad the, the, the speaker of as as of rep as of rep is around it's in the country it's in Abuja is in Abuja. Yes, he was in the meeting with us, starting to ending. In fact, mm. they left us, went to have a priority on our. When uh, was that? 31st. 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 They left the government. No, 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 he's around. Most of them left. No, 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 no. They, he, I, he uh, is uh, if you are something around, the assembly around. members, the mm. himself is around, the, the deputies, mm. all the. Uh, no, I, 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 I saw the around. deputy speaker. <laughs> yeah. I saw the deputy They're all around. They're all around. But I don't, I, don't about, I don't know about the senators, but the House of Rep members, they were full capacity. In them. fact, what about five pews? In that hall, yes. which is up for them, and they filled it up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, so I, I told the speaker I went for a lesson. No, no, no. He is around. He around. He's around. He's around. It's okay. In fact, he spoke to us directly. He did it. There was no representation. He was there directly. My own concern now mm -hmm. is that from 31st to today, if they know that this thing is a in a borderline, mm -hmm. is concerning, they would have. It's not concerned to them. They would have reacted. It's not concerned to them <laughs> because all the legends, they hold them. Now then they sign. Now then they approve. Now then they. We, 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 as, as we, we went down, down as we went down now uh, uh, as both, both of you yeah. we have uh, less than five minutes to to wind down to wrap up what is the way out one first of all the way out is very simple as easy let president Turumbu reverse back all the policies that so assaulted subsidy has so assaulted his security architecture has some assaulted. Uh, uh, his agriculture has some assaulted. The economy, foreign po uh, foreign policy, and also uh, foreign exchange also some assaulted. Where they go hand in hand, foreign policy and uh, foreign exchange, yeah. they go hand in hand. Yeah, hand, in hand yeah. You understand? All of them some assaulted. Okay. Now there is no peace in the land. You understand? He need to sit down and look for experts mm. within Nigeria. You understand? And look at the, what, what is our problem? What is the issue? How are we going to solve it? You understand? He can do that. Okay. But for a president to say, I give you a bag of rice, I give you students, so how long you will you give you a bag of rice? Kano State alone is about how many million people? No. About 12 million and you are giving uh, 20... <laughs> <laughs> Some will not, will not have a cup, uh, a cup of uh, mm -hmm. uh, rice. Mm -hmm. You understand? A student loan cannot help anything, okay. cannot improve education. Let us be sincere. Okay. You understand? Okay, let me but there, is, there is so many things that me, to me, all his policies that he, he came for the for mm -hmm. past one year has already somersaulted. Okay. Let him look for a solution. Let him go back to the constitution and follow the constitution and look at all the sectors of the economy mm. you understand and put them together let him look at the security okay. of this country okay. let him shake the security 
You understand? We had a president who lied to us that the, the uh, command center, control and command center will be shifted to Meduguri. While they are here in Abuja enjoying. People are there in Borno and Yobe are being, uh, Adamawa <laughs> are always being killed. You understand? <laughs> Borno people and Plato people are here. Every day they massacre them. <laughs> uh, people in Zamfara, Sokoto, Kebi, Kaduna, they are massacring them. He is here. Uh, uh, control, uh, uh, command and control is still in Abuja. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Alam that's Alam will work. Alam Boye. Okay, yeah, now yeah. I want to I want to I want to say that mm. it's not totally true that the government have not done a lot. Mm. They've done a lot. We had them, mm. and we know them. The problem is it should go back to his executors mm. and checkmate them. If actually these little efforts mm. in one year he has made is being felt by the Nigerian people, people. whom they are making it for. That's number one. Which effort? Number two. <laughs> <laughs> number two <laughs> no, uh, uh, it should revisit the subsidy issue okay the cost of fuel is too high they should reduce the cost of fuel but can it be reversed it can be reversed. If, if it is possible to reverse fine it can be reversed if, okay. well, if, if that would be a discussion for another day because okay. reversing that fuel subsidy would not be easy but mm. no it's, I, it's I know easy but we are doing agree. direct purchase direct sale <laughs> we are doing direct purchase direct <laughs> sale it's easy continue so what i know that can be done or what that should be done is yes. there should be that reduction <laughs> there are players in that industry don't forget it will affect them too let them reduce the cost of fuel we are while they go on restoring we have four refineries, even if it is two, this administration will restore to work, working capacity. Okay. Nigerians will never forget him. Okay. It will drop every other team is pursuing mm. and ensure that our refineries out of the four, mm. in four years, of course, it's only two years remaining, mm. in two years, he restores two refineries. These things we are discussing are the weights Nigerians will place on him to the country to turn back for another okay. four years. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Duke, the money Tenumbu administration borrowed can fix these four refineries, not two. I don't have, I don't, yeah, I don't I have the statistics. Uh, yeah, I have, the, stat I have <laughs> the statistics. The money that Buhari borrowed mm. can build 10 refineries, including modular refineries. Where is the money? Is the Zans. Is the Zans. Well, uh, Habib Gado, our uh, public affairs analyst, a businessman, and our uh, in-house resource person, I thank you so much, so profoundly, for finding time to come to the polity. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Uh, Duke Alan Boye, it's, a uh, you know, it's a, <laughs> always a pleasure inviting you and you know, for you to talk to Nigerians, particularly the youth demographic that you lead. And uh, uh, Duke Alan Boye is the national president, Nigerian Youth, youth Organization. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to the polity. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, last half, we can go on the size of our package today on the polity. My name still remains Macaulay Honohashi saying bye for now and thanks for joining us. See you next time.